Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video tutorial, I'll show you how I paint these fall leaf Thanksgiving cards. So let's get started. The first thing we'll do is grab a practice sheet of paper and I'm using Arches Cold Press 140 pound 100% cotton paper. I'm also using a size four Princeton snap brush. Let's grab an orange color and practice some leaves. So I start with little pressure on my brush and then I push my brush down all the way and pull up to a point. That's one side of the leaf and then you do the same thing on the other side and meet at the point. And there you have a little leaf. Let's try it again. So little pressure to start with. Push your brush down all the way for one side of the leaf and then on the other side push down and meet at the point. Let's try it with a yellow color. So again, little to no pressure to start with. Push down and twist up to a point, and then just repeat on the other side of the leaf. Push down and twist up to a point. You can also practice these leaves in a different direction if it feels better to your hand. So it's the same thing, push down, pull up, push down and pull up. Let's try another one with this beautiful Windsor Red Deep color. Just keep practicing those motions until you feel comfortable creating these little leaves. Now what we want to do while these leaves are still wet, we're going to drop in other colors. So I've got an orange leaf here and I don't want it to just be plain orange. So I'm going to drop in some red and let that dry and when it dries it will blend beautifully. Let's try it with my yellow color. We'll make this little leaf and again while it's still wet we're going to drop in some orange and that will dry and it will look really cool. Now let's put some leaves on a branch together. So we'll start with one leaf just how we've been practicing and with the very tip of our brush We'll very lightly create a little branch and add another leaf coming off the side just like that you can leave a little white space in the center or you can choose not to have that let's add one more leaf and then we'll have this cute little bunch of leaves Now these leaves are looking a little too perfect for me, so I'm gonna come in with just water on my paintbrush and blur some of the edges just to kind of mess them up. I'm also adding some yellow and orange paint to the red paint that's still wet, so that will blend together nicely when it's dried. Okay, so now we're gonna take the same brush with the tip we're going to use our burnt umber or any brown that you have and create these squiggly lines to make these branches. And then we're going to add these fall leaves that we've been practicing to these branches. So I'm gonna start with this orange color. Choose any color you want. Push down, pull up, push down and pull up to create our little leaf. Next I'll grab some red and do the same thing on this side. Keep doing this over and over until all these little branches are full. You can let some of the leaves touch each other and bleed into each other. When we have all these leaves placed, we're gonna go in with our water and kind of mess them up. I think I wanna add some green leaves that look like they haven't changed colors yet. So I'm just using a mixture of sap green and my Windsor yellow. So you get the idea, just keep filling in these branches with these pretty little fall leaves in the orange, red, yellow and green colors of your choice. So now we get to do the fun part where we're going to just 
drop some color in these wet leaves and then rinse off all the paint off your brush and just have water and come in and touch some of these leaves and let them bleed into each other and blur the edges and when it dries it'll make this really pretty dreamy effect. So that's it for our practice. Let's go ahead and get started on our cards and we'll just be painting these leaves and branches over and over. I'm going to start by marking the middle of my paper so I know where I'm going to write the word thankful. The size of card that I chose to do is four and a half by six and a half inches. Now I'm going to write the word thankful across my card. You can choose to write whatever words you'd like. And I'm writing it in a bouncy modern calligraphy style. And if you want to learn how to write like this, I highly recommend checking out The Happy Ever Crafter and Emma Lefave. I've learned a lot from both of them. Now I'm going to take my Tombow Fudenosuke brush pen and trace over my pencil. Then make sure it dries completely before you erase your pencil marks. I've made the mistake of not waiting before and it ruined my black writing. So for this first card, we'll take those leaves and branches and paint them at the top and the bottom and have them go all the way across towards the word thankful. So go ahead and grab your brown color and create your first branch. I'll start with a red and begin filling in the leaves on these branches. Just do exactly how you practice. I'm going to push down, pull up, and push down and pull up and come to a point. Repeat that over and over until your branches are full. Remember to drop in some color while your paint is still wet so you can get some multicolored leaves here. Once you feel like your branches are full, come in with your water and start blurring these leaves. This will also give us the effect of more leaves without having to paint so many. Now just keep going and paint more branches and fill them in with those leaves. And I'm sure you get the idea here, so I'll kind of speed ahead throughout the rest of this card.
All right, so that's it for the bottom of the card. Let's flip it the other way to paint the top. Once you feel like you have plenty of leaves across the top and bottom, you're all finished. So that's it for this card, and in just a minute we'll tape it onto a craft card. For our next card, we'll just be painting the same leaves and branches, only this time we'll be doing it in this lower right corner and then the upper left corner. So just go ahead and place those branches wherever you like and fill them up with all your fall leaves. Remember to drop in color while the leaves are still wet and then with just water on your brush, blur the sides of the leaves. Once you're happy with how that looks, you can turn it around to the other corner and start making the branches and leaves on this side, only we're not going to make them quite as large or go out quite as far. I decided it would be fun to add a little sparkle to this 
card so we're going to make a gold border and add some gold leaves if you don't have gold paint you can choose another color paint to do this with or skip it all together Now for the gold leaves, I think I'm just going to paint an outline of a leaf with a little line down the center, just to give it a little sparkle. I don't know if the camera is picking up the gold, but when you turn your card in the light, you'll be able to see that sparkly gold on those leaves. Now for this card, I'm just going to keep it simple and write the same thankful going diagonal this time. Alright, so there we have our two Thanksgiving cards and now all we need to do is tape them onto a craft card. The craft card size that I have is 5x7. I'm just going to take my crafter's tape to tape these cards on. And that's it. So there we have our two Thanksgiving cards. And they were pretty simple to make, but they look really beautiful in the end. If you live in the United States of America and you're celebrating Thanksgiving soon, I hope you have a wonderful holiday and thanks for watching this video.